Okay, Greg in Idaho, got some of your order here, so appreciate your order. Um, I'll give you an update on it. So the Mako antenna will be here probably early next week, and then I'll ship that out to you. I think you got the V5000. I'll have some more of those here. Um, for anyone that's interested, I also have a V58, uh, the lower power one as well. So I'll have V5000 and V58. Uh, right now on the website, they're pre-order, but I will be switching that to in stock status. Um, I got this for you. I'm not going to show this, but this is brand new. Um, I will demonstrate your radio. Your handheld radio, Randy 2, is on, going to be on its way soon. That's going to ship directly to you from a supply source of mine. So um, that one will come differently. The antenna will come differently. These two will come together. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, here is your George FCC right here. So this is the one you're going to get. I've already checked the receive, it's excellent. So these are a pretty outstanding radio in my opinion. For a CB, this is probably the best that you're gonna get. Now keep in mind, um, I call this a CB because that's exactly what it is, it's a CB. So if we're talking about the new Washington that's coming out, it's not a CB, it's a, it's a export 10 meter modifiable probably radio. So. I don't like to call those CBs because they're not. Another uh, good example of CB, I'll show you a couple more. This would be a prime example of a Washington CB. This is one I acquired, it's uh, brand new in the box, new old stock. This is another example of a CB here, same uh, setup, brand new old stock, Grant LT. I haven't even had a chance to try them yet. This is a Washington CB, the one that's coming out later is not a CB. So. Although you can call it whatever you want, um, the fact of the matter is it's definitely not a CB. It's a high power export amateur radio. So another example of a higher power export amateur radio would be this. Um, I have this for sale on the site. It's brand new in the box. I don't want to even fuss with it or anything. That's on the website. Um, if anyone's interested, here it is. Reason I say these things is because if someone's new to the radio hobby, which probably most aren't that watch my channel but if you are I can understand how confusing it would be that these guys are calling these other radios like CBs and stuff and ideally they're not they are could be used technically but you know this is a real CB it's a very nice one so enough about that the other two exactly the same um, here's the output of the uh, George FCC on sideband it's very stout for just what it is you know there's you cannot deny how good this is. I mean, you're not going to generally find this kind of power output. Just this is right out of the box with my small alignment that I do, which really doesn't do a whole lot more, but that's outstanding. I mean, for, for a radio like this to do this, it's just, you know, you're not going to find that normally. Normally it's going to be tamed way down, so that's really cool. Um, I already set your AM power at 4 watts, FM power at 4 watts. Now keep in mind, if you don't have a peak reading meter, you're never going to see that. Um, and then some peak reading meters don't have the accuracy of like that telepost one. So keep in mind, whatever you have, if it reads peak, it's better than nothing. But um, there are usually are specifications on, on meters, whether it's going to say plus or minus this amount. And some don't have a true peak, although they will read some, some sort of peak. They have like capacitor that charges up or something and it will kind of show you some idea of peak to each his own on what kind of meter they want to use you know not everybody wants to spend big money on a meter and I understand that so I do have a good selection of meters now on the site as well KPO style meters there's a couple more I just got in that I haven't listed yet some some smaller ones they're little small ones so I gotta list those too but anyways um, I'll show you the AM in just a second here all right, here's the AM on this radio. So we got our oscilloscope set up here. Let me actually adjust that just a little bit more. Here we go. So we'll take a look at that. This is low power, so it's one watt. Looks really nice. So what are we? We're going up to about three point something, which is pretty close to like 95% or something like that, which is really clean. You'll be perfectly understood. No problems there. Here's the spectrum analyzer. I don't really have to sh say what it's saying there. You guys can see it for yourself on the video. So, um, and here it is on the 20 kilohertz span. So that looks perfect, excellent, just how it should. So I'll show you the high power next. 
All right, here's the high power on AM. So if we look at uh, this number here, 107, we can see now that when I modulate this with 30 uh, millivolt peak to peak, here we go. So it's slightly over 100% there on the high power side. Up here, same, same story. Really nice. You can see it's a huge power drop off when you get into this area down here. And we can go um, peak table, which we can see at level 10 and level 8. You can see how low in power that actually is right there. So minus 6 and plus 6 because obviously we're reading this way and this way. So one way is minus, one way is plus. So basically that's where we're at. It's pretty much the same on both sides, which is a good thing. Um, yeah, it's just all around a nice, clean, good working radio. So, you know, you're not going to bother people with this. You're not going to bleed them over five, six channels, anything like that. So I think that's what we all should want and hope for. But, you know, to each his own on what they want, I guess. Some guys don't care if they're bleeding the whole band. Um, so let me come back and I'll show you the power, but uh, I wanted to show you FM mod. So for that, we're going to set this up in uh, Modulation Analyzer. I don't show the AM because it's not really important. The scope is more for that. I mean, yeah, you can show it here in percentage, but I like to see it visually with the oscilloscope. It just makes more sense. All right, here's the FM deviation. So you can see there on the screen, it's about 2.1, 2.6 at times. So that's the same with the one kilohertz test tone. So that's about right. I mean, the, the actual limitation is two kilohertz. So we're just a little bit above that. And uh, that should do you just fine for uh, FM CB anyways. Okay, a couple things I did here is when, I, when you key up, I have it set for SWR to display. Also, I shut off the tone beep anytime you do anything on the radio. If you want to switch that on, you can. It's right in the menu. Um, otherwise, we'll go to our AM power. Right about a 4-watt carrier, as I said. And then when we talk, we're seeing upwards of 20-something. So pretty good power for a regular radio, too. Um, you know, not crazy numbers or anything like that. But this is about what you'd like to see anyways. You know, traditional power out of a... A CB radio it's pretty darn good and these sound outstanding they sound like a freaking icon on sideband so I mean it's just an exceptional sound that these new radios have so you just can't beat it okay so it's all done I'm gonna get it boxed with uh, with that and anything that you need to learn about the radio definitely reference your manual because they definitely do a good job with everything explanations on all the various settings and some of the settings have dual settings on these controls so all that stuff is laid out in there uh, don't forget about your nrc that's an important feature to help knock down on interfering noise and also i'm going to print the manual i'm sorry not the manual the uh invoice and i'm going to send that in with the radio i'll put it on top of the radio with the manual and don't forget about the rebate um, for the george fcc if you mail in the invoice and fill out the rebate form and mail that in or maybe you can do it online I'm not sure but I think it's mail in um, they're gonna send you a new Bluetooth mic for no charge which you can obviously use with the radio which is really cool thanks a lot and I will definitely update you along the way with the other products when they ship 7.3